video we're going to learn about the best server feature which has had an upgrade. Uh, it's using the new uh, Sleipnir propagation engine so it's much faster and it can take advantage of LiDAR data which we've got uh, for New York here in this demo. Now this demo assumes that we've already created some calculations so if we open up our archive here I can see I've got lots of calculations and I've got different networks so hopefully if you're a, a regular user this will look familiar I'm going to pick uh, my uh, New York City uh, 6 gig network here and I've got some sites um, in the network and what I want to do is use this tool to find me the best server for my uh, customer locations so the best server feature is the medal down here I click this feature and then I can go ahead and click somewhere on the map and just select the network on the left here and then click check. What's happening now on the server is it's taking those those sites that are within range and it's running a path to each one using the settings that are in the database and here they're, co they're color coded according to the color key and I can go ahead and click the path and get more data. Because we're using the new engine we've got a lot of data to analyze now which means we don't have to revert to the server to, to do more uh, features in the future which is nice so I can go ahead and click this link for example and see it's obstructed by some buildings because I've got uh, the, the LiDAR data for New York. So that's one way you could use the tool. Um, another way you could use it is um, you could also create a um, small mesh for the sites that are the best server to see the the rest of the coverage to see where else you might have customers that you're, you're not aware of. So let's let's open it up again and this time uh, repeat what the steps we did before only this time check this box to show server coverage. So this will uh, show me the links to the best servers but it will also uh, create a super layer to layer on top of that to show me where those best servers also serve. So this is what's happening now in the second step so we're creating a super layer which we're going to stick on top and there you see it covers covers the East River there, these, these towers and they form a, a, a consolidated layer. I'm just going to go down to the, uh, the corner of the, uh, the road here and check this one again. The reason is I just want to show you um, how you could use this to look at, look at LiDAR data in the way and also we can have a look at a bridge here. A uh, bridge is interesting, it's that uh, obstacle there in case you're wondering and the, the server is actually over on the left here so this server here is on the left near the bridge. The bridge extends all the way to the earth um, which it doesn't in reality, it's, it's actually sitting 40 meters above the East River um, but uh, the way the, the raster data works on the server is it's sourced from LiDAR but it's converted to a raster which is why a bridge extends all the way to the ground. It's, it's just a small point, but it's just one to be aware of if you find yourself working with bridges that are high above water.